hey so let's take the next question that's question number 8 for our discussion this question also hold two marks and we were given the choice in this question also so this is the first choice of question number 8 let's read it for more clarification this says state bohr's quantization condition of angular momentum calculate the shortest wavelength of the bracket series and state to which part of the electromagnetic spectrum does it belong okay so let's try to answer this question first we need to state the bohr's quantization condition for angular momentum and we all know according to the bohr's quantization condition the angular momentum of the orbiting electron is integral multiple of h by 2 pi where h is planck's constant thus the angular momentum of the orbiting electron is quantized so the angular momentum is n into h by 2 pi where n is going to be the number of orbit in which the electron is orbiting okay further in this question we were asked to calculate the shortest wavelength of the bracket series now for bracket series what is going to be n n is going to be 4 so the final state or the final orbit of the electron will be 4 and the initial because we need to find out the shortest wavelength so initial orbit of the electron we are going to consider it to be at infinity so in this case when you will put n2 as infinity and n1 as 4 you will calculate this lambda minimum as 16 by r where r is the rydberg constant so when you will substitute the value of r in this you will get the minimum wavelength or the shortest wavelength to be 14592 angstrom now here by having a look at this particular wavelength you can get an idea that it is associated with the infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum now let's see how many marks you are going to get for writing this particular answer for this question so in this question you were first asked to state the bohr's condition for angular momentum and when you will write about the angular momentum quantization you are going to get one mark for this further in this question you were asked to calculate the shortest wavelength for bracket series and you have done that also so for this particular calculation of the wavelength you will get half mark and the final half mark you will get when you will write that this belongs to the infrared region of electromagnetic spectrum so this is how you will score 2 out of 2 marks for this particular question now let's take up the second choice of this question so here i have this second choice which says calculate the orbital period of electron in the first excited state of hydrogen atom now let's have a look on to the solution for this part of the question so here in this question we have to talk about the first excited state of hydrogen atom and for first excited state n will be 2 now for calculating the orbital period for any particular orbit T n th will be equal to 2 pi r n th divided by v n th. Now here, this r n th will be equal to r not n square by z, where z is the atomic number, n is the orbital we are talking about, and the value of r not is 0.53 into 10 raised to the power minus 10. Similarly, what is going to be this v n? vn will simply be v not z by n where v not will be 2.19 into 10 raised to the power 6 so when you will substitute its values here you will get this final result okay now for hydrogen atom what will be z z is equal to 1 for hydrogen atom and n is 2 because we are talking about the first excited state so we need to put n as 2 so when you will do this job of putting the value of n and z here 
you will get the t as 1.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 15 second okay so this is our final result for this particular question now let's have a look on to the marking scheme for this question so for writing this formula for calculating the orbital period you are going to get half mark you will get half mark when you will put the values of this r n it and v n it then for this calculation part and for writing this answer completely you are going to get one mark okay so this is how you are going to score two out of two mark for this particular choice of question number eight i hope this discussion is clear to you now let's move on to the discussion of question number nine 